All right, so we have this th uh, three kilogram steel ball. M is three kilograms, and it's be and that's a big heavy ball, by the way. Three kilograms, guys. This right here, this is one kilogram. Three kilogram steel ball being thrown at a wall. That's quite a ball. Uh, <clears throat> three kilogram ball. They give us the angle from the vertical, so it, it hits at a 60 degree angle measured from the wall, and then bounces off at a 60 degree angle. Um, this initial velocity, so what does it say here? So it strikes a massive wall at 10 meter per second. So this initial velocity is 10, and then <clears throat> it bounces off the wall with the same speed. All right, so V final is also 10, meter per second. So the question is, if the ball is in contact with the wall for 0.2 seconds, so time is 0.2 seconds, what is the average force exerted by the wall on the by the wall on the ball? The force of the wall on the ball. Okay? So look, the realization that you have to have in this problem is that the acceleration, the acceleration of the ball is only in the x direction. And let me show you why. So as the ball comes in, this, this initial velocity of 10, is this perfectly x? No. Is it perfectly y? No. So what do we have to do to that initial velocity? Break it into components. So this vector right here, that's a vx initial. That's Vx, and then there's Vy. Does that make sense? Okay, now look. When the ball comes off the wall, when the ball comes off the wall, is the velocity, let me move this, I'm going to do some vector stuff, put this underneath. So velocity here is uh, 10 meter per second. Is this velocity perfectly x? No. Is it perfectly y? Nope. So what do we have to do? Break it into components. So that's vy. So this is vy right here. This is vx. Now look, what do you notice about vy? So here's vy before the collision with the wall. Here's vy after the collision with the wall. Did Vy change? Uh-uh. There is no change in the Y velocity as a result of the collision, right? That velocity and that velocity, the Y velocities stayed exactly the same. But what did change? Look at the X velocities. What do you notice about this X velocity and this X velocity? They point in opposite directions, right? So remember in physics, plus and minus is direction. So we're going to say to the right is plus, to the left is minus. That's our sign convention here. So look, you got to do some trig. So this angle in here, if this is 60 degrees, this angle in here is going to be 30. So now you can solve for Vx. So Vx comes out as 8.66 meter per second. That's positive. And then this Vx, this angle in here, is 30. This is negative 8.66. Why is that one negative? Because it points to the left. All right, so here's the realization. The change of velocity is only in the x direction, right? In other words, what's another name for change of velocity? Yo. Uh, why does that change in the Y? Well, that's a good point. Like in real life, dude, if you're if you if this ball comes in like that, yeah, in real life, if gravity is pushing down like that, there would there would be a Y velocity change. But here's the fact of the matter. They they gave us these velocities. The ball hits at ten meter per second and comes off at ten meter per second. They say right here that it, it bounces off the wall with the same speed. 
So you just got to go with that. But yeah, in real life, if you throw a ball against a wall, it's fi it's going against gravity, so it would slow down. But dude, it's a physics problem, so you just got to go with what they give you. It comes off the wall with the same speed. Maybe yeah, maybe they did this in outer space. Mm-hmm, where there's no gravity. Okay, so what is the change of velocity? Change of velocity is V final minus V initial. Okay, so let's figure out what it is. So what it, what's V final in the X direction? V final in the X direction is negative 8.66, right? That's this guy. The final X velocity is that. What was the initial X velocity? Just regular 8 points, it's positive 8.66. So the change of velocity comes out to be negative 17.32. So from here, the problem's not too bad, right? The change of velocity is only in the x direction. Dudes, if you have a change of velocity, if you have a change of velocity, that means you have a what? What is change of velocity? Acceleration. And if, so our acceleration is only in the x, which means that our net force, right, because F net equals MA, our net force is going to be only in the x, okay? So what they're asking for is the force exerted by the wall on the, by the wall on the ball. So doing this chapter 6 style, you go like this. F net is equal to change of momentum over time, but what is change of momentum? m delta v, right? Momentum is mass times velocity. So change of momentum is mass times change of velocity over time. So do we have the mass of the ball? Yes. The mass of the ball is 3 kilograms. The change of velocity is negative 17.32. And then the time is 0.2 seconds. So this comes out <clears throat> a net force wall on ball, negative 260 newtons. Now, why does it come out negative? Why does it make sense that the answer comes out negative? Well, which way is the force of the wall on the ball? To the left. F net is to the left. Which way is the acceleration? To the left. As is the change of velocity, right? It's kind of like this, net force to the left, which means accelerations to the left, which means change of velocities to the left. The key thing for this problem is recognizing that the change is in the x direction.